Up next, we have Hyde Fontenot, artist. Hyde Fontenot was born into a pragmatic family whose interests ran a narrow gamut between rice farming and rodeo. He has labored in film and television while building an extensive multidisciplinary, uh, multidisciplinary studio practice, practice which includes drawing, painting, experimental video, and installations. As an artist, Fontenot deftly mines the trauma of a Catholic upbringing in conflict with his queer identity by using a boisterous aesthetic, a sly sense of humor, and an unswerving focus on emotional connection. Hyde is the consulting director at Saladias and Casa Chuck. Um, and here, just a note for parents with little ones in San Antonio, uh, you may want to cover their eyes for some of these images. I'm going to give you an example. If you have a mask, you can go ahead and use it as a blindfold. And uh, that, that works like that. So uh, if you have any kids, just get your mask, put it on their eyes. That way you have two hands free for double fisting your drink, all right? All right, up. Hyde, go ahead and get up here. Thank you so much. Uh, that made me sound really dangerous. Uh, <laughs> um, I wanted to thank uh, the organizers uh, for inviting me to do this. Um, and I understand I have six minutes uh, to further the gay agenda. Uh, <laughs> Um, so for my sake, I'm hoping that all of you are deeply insecure and suggestionable. Uh, otherwise, I won't be getting my regular conversion bonuses from our global alliance. Uh, so, uh, and now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you some drawings that I've made. Um, all of these models in the drawings are friends of mine, and quite a few of them are also artists. Um, I'm tremendously grateful to each of them uh, for taking this risk and being in this work. As you can imagine, I could not manage to make the work without having subjects. Um, I feel it's important to note that very few of these people are actually exhibitionists. Uh, in fact, the majority express quite a bit of hesitation uh, about posing nude. Typically, there's anxiety at the beginning of a model session, and then within a few minutes, they tend to realize it's not as strange, nor is it as sexy as they thought it was going to be. But the process of modeling is far from uh, uneventful. Uh, many of the models have told me that the experience was transformative. And uh, most of us have so much work to do, uh, so much psychological work to do about accepting the way that we look. And it's rare for someone to feel grateful or powerful in their body. So in many ways, I see this work as having dual purpose of uh, being my creative work, but also being therapeutic. Um, when I invite one of my friends to model, quite often they'll ask, uh, do I have to be naked? And I will say, no, you get to be naked. Uh, so a bit of insider information is that the nudity in the work has practically nothing to do with sexuality and everything to do with intimacy. And um, I work in a wide variety of mediums, so my art practice extends far beyond these drawings that I've just shown you. Um, a slide coming up is an installation that I did in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and it's using a painted backdrop, theatrical set pieces, a variety of props and costumes, uh, even a projected video loop. Um, in forthcoming images, you'll see the addition of performers and live animals, all used to create a hybrid environment, something that I've coined an inhabited installation. The site of this particular art installation was in the Greenwood neighborhood of Tulsa, Oklahoma, which was the factual location of the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre. So in this art experiment of working in real time with a live audience, performers, and performers, I reference the fiction of horror films with their fabricated villains and make-believe dangers in a juxtaposition to real-life smoldering genocide that was not quite 100 years uh, in our past at the time of this project. This mashup of improvisational religious rite, pageant, 
falsified historical reenactment was all to offer a counter perspective to sentimental Americana. Um, so when we engage with a charged message, um, sorry, uh, whenever we engage with a with a charged message or we uh, entirely avoid presenting a point of view, I believe that all work, artwork is political. So there's some slides coming up. These are still uh, uh, documentation of performance. Uh, a slide coming up. Sorry, I got a little ahead of myself. I tried to time this, but as you can imagine. Um, so unfuck the police, tax the church, billionaires are trash. Um, I never thought it would be necessary to have to voice such simple and logical directives as just say no to fascists and their followers. But here we are, as vocab was saying, the last administration <laughs> um, uncovered a lot of uh, <laughs> horrible things. Um, a few years ago in Tulsa, I was also doing a project. Oh, oh sorry, I got ahead. Um, for myself, I feel an urgency in speaking out. And it's not about creating a meaning, meaningless distraction or simple shock value. It's about taking a chance, disrupting, confronting, and questioning disturbing trends. So a few years ago, in Tulsa, Oklahoma as well, I had the opportunity to create another project with the specific purpose of engaging the community. If you've been to Oklahoma, you'll see that belonging to a church is terrifically important to your social life. To be without a religious community in Oklahoma is somewhat isolating. So as a recovering Catholic, I understand both the comfort of a spiritual life and also the trauma of organized religion. The Lodge of St. Rebor Laroe was my answer to this absent resource. We would function as a community center. We would be welcoming to all without official religious dogma. And we would operate with the attention to three main interests spirituality, mental wellness, and community. Our programs would depend on who showed up and what they brought to the space. We had readings, we had workshops, we watched and discussed films together. This would become a place of sharing and community. The name St. Rebor Laroe was fabricated. I arrived at it when I reversed the spelling of Oral Roberts. Oral Roberts was a fundamentalist whose congregation and university campus were just a few miles from where we would set up shop as the lodge. In fact, I imagine there was a bit of magic we could, we could harness by naming, reverse naming this space. We would do the exact opposite of everything I understood the established missionary church to be. Firstly, we would not tell you what to think or what to believe. Everyone who came to the lodge could keep intact the free will that God gave them. Secondly, we would never ask you for money. All programs were free and open to the public. Community response was tremendous. We had three great months at the lodge before I was run out of town. <laughs> the, um, the organization that brought me there to do this project um, became really nervous. And even though the project happened without any incident, um, their fears actually shut the project down. Uh, lastly, I wanted to tell you about a podcast that I do with co-host Aaron Stafford. It's called Artist Talk Movies, or ATM. Each episode, we invite a practicing artist to participate, uh, sorry, to select a favorite film, uh, which we discuss how that film is inspired or otherwise had an effect on their creative process. Uh, I hope you'll find the time to follow us on Instagram and, more importantly, to listen to some of the episodes uh, with these other artists who are sharing details about finding inspiration. So thank you. All right. Thank you, Hyde. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. I, first, I want to say I love your work. Thank you. Um, thank you. I had a couple of questions. Yeah. Where can we find you online? Oh, uh, hidefontno.com. 
Okay. <laughs> it's got a strange spelling, so I'm the only one. Uh, you guys can uh, find his name on the Pecha Kucha promo yeah. materials yeah. as well. Uh, what is some advice you have for a young, peer, uh, young queer person coming out of that type of faith-based community, just finding themselves? Wow. Yeah. Um, that's, a, that's a big question. Um, I would just say find other curious people. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. uh, cut your own path. Mm -hmm. um, you know, save yourself. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you for all the work that you yeah. do. Uh, do you have anything that you want to plug coming up? Anything Saladias um, or regarding yeah. your work? We, we have a show closing at Saladias this Saturday, uh, 1 to 4 in the afternoon. Uh, it's an artist from uh, Austin named Steve Parker. It's a really good show, and you guys should come. Have a drink with us. All right. This Saturday, 1 to 4 in the afternoon. Thank yeah. you, Hyde. Thank yeah. you so much for the work you do. You. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much.